Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A is a set. Then the union of A with the empty set is equal to A. Right, so really, let's start out this proof by supposing A is a set. And now, what we want to do is we want to prove that these two sets are equal. And the way we can do that is we can show that this set is a subset of this set, and that this set is a subset of this set. But here's the thing. We already know that A is a subset of A union the empty set. How do we know this? Well, because we already proved that in another video, right? That was good, because what we proved was, we proved that for any two sets A and B, A is a subset of A union B. So we already know that this is true. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prove the other direction, right? We're gonna prove that A union the empty set is a subset of A. Right, because if we know that these two things are true, then these two facts together tell us that the two sets are equal. So let's show that this is true. And really we're trying to show that everything in this set is also in this set. So give me an arbitrary element of this set. I'll call it X. What does this mean? Well, by definition of the union of sets, this means that either X is an element of A or X is an element of the empty set. But by definition of the empty set, X is not an element of the empty set because the empty set has no elements. So what do we have here? We have that either X is an element of A or X is an element of the empty set. But X is not an element of the empty set. So we must have this option. We must have that X is an element of A. Now putting this together, we started with an arbitrary element of A union the empty set, and we showed that same element must also be an A. Therefore, every element of A union the empty set is also an A. So really, we have shown that these two sets are subsets of each other, which amounts to proving that the two sets are equal. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove a theorem like this. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.